So with Wimbledon only a week away, we have the seeds locked in for the tournament. And of course, this is before any sort of withdrawals. So if you are watching this midway through the week before Wimbledon and some players are pulled out, of course, there's a lot of players with injury. We'll talk about that later. But these are the seeds as of now going into Wimbledon, which is a week away. Starting on the WTA side of things, and the top four seeds in this order, we've got Fiontek at one, Goff at two, Sabalenka at three, and Rabakina at four. And of course, both Sabalenka and Rabakina pulling out this week in Berlin. So we've got to keep an eye on them over the next week because that will change things if one of them did pull out. But at this stage, they're the top four seeds. Rounding out the top eight seeds, we've got Pagula, Von Drusova, Paulini, and Zhang. And of course, Von Drusova also pulling out of Berlin this week with injury. So again, another player in that top eight seeds that we've got to keep an eye on over the next week before Wimbledon. Having a look at the top 16 seeds now and some of the players to watch out for, of course, Jabir, last year's finalist and the year before at Wimbledon. Danielle Collins, of course, playing her last Wimbledon. Definitely got to watch out for her as we go forward. And then rounding out the top 32 seeds, some of the names to keep an eye on on the lower end, someone like a Kalinskaya, who obviously has played really well this week. Krajikova, also somebody to watch out for, being a former Grand Slam champion. But also Mira Andreva, 24th seed. It's going to be really interesting to see her as a seeded player at a slam and how she does on the grass, because of course she's had some really good wins and of course making the semifinals of the French Open by beating Sabalenka. It's got to give her some confidence. So there are some of the names that we've got to keep an eye on going in to Wimbledon from the seeds. Having with some of the unseeded of players on the WTA side that will be dangerous players, potentially first round opponents for these ladies who are seeded. Putin Seva, she just won a title last week in Birmingham and she's 34 in the world, just missed out on seeds. Now she could be seeded by the time we get to Wimbledon because of course she's just outside, but very dangerous if she does stay unseeded. Mukova. Another player, very dangerous, unseated. She's 35 in the world, coming back next week and also playing Wimbledon at this stage. So Mukova could be a first-round opponent for one of those top seeds. Nemo Osaka, she's 111 in the world currently. She is going to be unseated at Wimbledon, and we all know what she can do. We saw that she almost beat Fiance on clay, so if she can almost do that, she can beat a lot of players on grass. Bianca Andreescu also had a really good week on the grass court so far, 165 in the world. Very dangerous player for a first round for somebody. And Rodokanu, 168 in the world currently. She is a very dangerous player as well in a first round, potentially for a top 10 player, especially with the crowd on her side. So five players there that are going to be really dangerous and unseated at this stage going into Wimbledon 2024. On the men's side of things, top four seeds at this stage. Yannick Sin is going to be number one seed with Novak Djokovic coming in at two, Elkris at three, and Zverev at four. And of course, because Elkris lost at Queen's Club, he lost a lot of points, which meant Djokovic goes up to number two. So if Novak plays, he will be the second seed. Rounding at the top eight seeds, you've got Medvedev, Rublev, Herkatch, and Rude as the top eight seeds. So Hubi Herkatch, he's at a career high ranking after having a great week in Heller this week. And the more interesting one is that Medvedev, last year's semi-finalist, is the number five seed, which means if Djokovic doesn't pull out, he's going to have a really tough quarterfinal against one of those top four at Wimbledon this year. Rounding out the top 16 seeds at this stage, you've got some players like Dimitrov, of course, played really well here at Wimbledon in the past. Taylor Fritz, a couple of years ago, almost made the semi-finals here. Had a really tough match against Rafa. And Holger Runa, he was really, really good at Wimbledon last year, making the quarterfinals. So as a 15 seed, that's going to be really interesting to see who he picks up, especially early in the tournament out of those top eight seeds. And then some players out of the top 32 seeds. Someone like a quarter who's been playing really, really well. He's the 20th seed. And that's a career high ranking for him going into Wimbledon. He's, he's had a couple of really good weeks on the grass. Bublik is always some random dangerous player, especially on the fast surface of grass. Musetti, the 25th seed. He's coming in. Could be really dangerous as well. But really playing well on the grass for the first time in his career. And of course, the man of the moment, Jack Draper. He's at a career high ranking, which is great for him because it means he won't have to play one of those big boys until the third round at the earliest. And no one wants to play Draper right now, especially with the crowd behind him. It's going to be real dangerous to play him at Wimbledon. Now having a look at some of the players that are not seeded that are going to be super dangerous for those top seeds, potentially in a first or second round. Started with Monfils. He's number 40 in the world. He missed out on the seedings just. And he will be a nightmare for somebody in the first round, especially if the crowd get on his side. Struff is another one who had a really good week in Heller. He's 41 in the world. He'll be an unseeded dangerous player. Last year's quarterfinalist, Eubanks. He made his way to the quarterfinals of Heller. He's 42 in the world and will be unseated. Very dangerous. Berrettini. Of course, he's great on grass. He's 60 in the world currently. He will also be dangerously unseated at this event. And Shapovalov, he'll be 120 in the world heading into Wimbledon, but he'll be unseated. He comes in with a protected ranking. Very, very dangerous play as well if he catches fire for the men. So there they are. They are the seeds, the top 32 seeds. Of course, there's a lot of dangerous unseated players. We'll talk about that in further videos going into Wimbledon. But let me know down in the comments below. Who are you looking most forward to seeing at Wimbledon this year? And who do you think is going to pull out of Wimbledon this year? Because there's so many injuries, it seems, on the women's side, and of course, the big one being Djokovic. Will he play Wimbledon? Will he be there? He's heading to Wimbledon. Will he play? I guess we'll find out over the next couple of days. But they are the seeds, the top 32 seeds, locked in 
for Wimbledon. We'll see us next week.